Hello viewers, welcome to another video. In this video, I will going to show you how to measure the size of a cable. Why you need to measure the size of a cable? This is because of two reasons. The first is, normally on most of the cables, the size or the cross-sectional area of the cable is not written or not printed on the cable. Second, if say, let's say it's printed on the cable and you want to cross check whether the cable is of correct size then you need to measure the size of a cable. So let's find out how to do it. So first of all you can see that this is a cable which has four cores in it. So each wire in the cable is called the core as you can see here. In each core there are numbers of conductors. These conductors are called strands of a cable. So the first thing we have to do is to count the number of total strands in each core. So I'll start counting. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So there are 19 numbers of strand in this core. The next thing you have to do is to measure the diameter of each core. How would you do that? You need a micro gauge, micrometer screw gauge in order to measure the diameter of each core. So I will play a section of a video in which it is shown how to use a micro gauge in order to find the diameter of a wire. Now bring the stud A and plane front side B of the screw in contact to each other. If the zero mark of the circular scale is not coinciding with the reference line, then note the zero error. Repeat it three times. Now place the given wire between the stud A and plane front side B of the screw. Rotate the rashe until it starts to move without moving the screw with a sound. Note the divisions on linear scale which are uncovered by the edge of the cap. This is the linear scale reading. Note the number of marks on the circular scale coinciding with the reference line. Repeat the steps 5 to 7 after rotating the wire by 90 degree for measuring the diameter in a perpendicular direction. Repeat steps 5 to 8 for 5 different positions along the length of the wire. Record all these observations in a tabular form. Find the total reading and apply zero correction in each case. Take mean of different values of diameter, that is the diameter of the wire. So coming back to our main video. So now you have two things. The first you have counted the total number of strands in a core and then you have also measured the diameter of a strand by using a micrometer screw gauge. The next step is you need to refer to this table which I have shown on the screen. On the first column you can see this entry 19 oblique 0.052. So in my cable there are 19 number of cores and each core has 0.052 inch of diameter. So it means that if you have these two numbers this corresponds to the normal cross sectional area of 25 mm square according to BSS standard 6004. So it means that if you have these two entries you can simply look into the table to find out the nominal cross-sectional area of a cable. I hope you completely understand the method to find the cross-sectional area of a cable manually. I hope you like this video. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.